بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویل از گڈ ٹو بی بیک اینڈ وی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ ڈیفینیٹلی وین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ کارپوریٹ گورننس دین ون آف دا موسٹ امپارٹنٹ تھنگس از دا بورڈ آف ڈائریکٹرز ناؤ اے ویری امپارٹنٹ ایسپیکٹ از دیٹ ہاؤ از اٹ دیٹ وی لک ایٹ دی افیکٹیونیس آف دا بورڈ آف ڈائریکٹرز ناؤ دس از ایکسٹریملی امپارٹنٹ ناؤ ریسنٹلی وٹ ای سی از دیٹ مور اینڈ مور دی بورڈ آف ڈائریکٹرز ریلائی اپن دی چیف ایگزیکٹو آفیسرز اینڈ وی سی Uh, that uh, because of that, the role, the job description, the responsibilities, uh, the scope, and most importantly, the remuneration, the benefits of chief executive officers have exponentially increased. Now, in this exponential increase, there are different schools of thought who basically think now that the whole organization has a dictatorial emphasis on the CEO. And maybe the CEOs are now being overpaid, while there's another one which thinks that if they are generating profits, if they are able to do what others cannot do, then those profits should be shared uh, by the CEO and the rest of the shareholders and stakeholders. So again, what we see is, is that due to the importance of the role of the chief executive officer and the other chief officers of the organization, therefore, the board can take a little bit of a backbencher uh, view. However, in the 21st century, This has changed and we see that the boards are now uh, devoting greater time and attention to matters connected with the management of the company. So that is what we are seeing. And this shift basically uh, has created a very good uh, sort of collaboration and relationship uh, between the CEO and the board of directors. Uh, their continuous and close contact with the operation of the company places them in a far more advantageous position. As Newman put it, it is the full-time executive Uh, who must carry the responsibility for the basic exploration and analysis of present and future problems. So again, when we are talking about problem solving, then it is the chief executive officer. But when we are talking about strategy, when we are talking about policies, when we are talking about uh, top level recruitments, when we are talking about audit, when we are talking about accountability, integrity, and the ethos of the organization, then the board of directors have a very, very important role. Now, when we uh, are looking at that, the main functions of the board are therefore confirming management decisions on major changes in objectives, policies, and those other transactions, uh, reviewing the results of the company's current operations, providing constructive advice to the executives through decision, a discussion on important matters such as business outlook, new government legislation, wage policies, selecting the chief executives, and confirming the selection of other chief officers in the company made by the chief executives. The ultimate responsibility under the present setup of a company management rests with the board of directors. It has to perform the important function of approving the company's objectives and policies of looking critically at the profit planning of the company. So again, what we see is, is that uh, these board of directors, they have to strategically visualize, they have to be visionary, and they have to see that how is it that in the long run, the company is going to generate profits? What type of products, what type of services? Should it be aligning and calibrating itself towards so that they can move forward? Just look at what, uh, for example, uh, now look at uh, Elon Musk, uh, look at, uh, look at um, Bill Gates. They're no more, they're more, no more CEOs. They are basically in the board and they are uh, major shareholders and therefore, therefore they are driving the organization in such a way that uh, there is a futuristic approach uh, towards where these uh, mega companies are going. We look at We look at Apple, uh, it has become a three dr trillion dollar company, three trillion. Um, first, uh, I was just four years ago, uh, it touched the first uh, trillion. And then uh, about 18 months ago, it touched the second trillion. And now it's already on the third trillion, moving towards the fourth trillion. So that is what profit planning is all about. And that's the important role of the boards because the chief executive officer is basically uh, inundated and overwhelmed with daily affairs and therefore Many a times he or she cannot strategically be thinking because they are so much engrossed uh, in uh, second to second issues and minute to minute uh, problem uh, solving. So therefore that is where uh, the board basically plays uh, its very effective role. Uh, Drucker basically said, it is an organ of review, of appraisal, of appeal. Only in a crisis it becomes an organ of action. So basically we see that the fundamental role of the board of directors is review, appraisal and appeal. But if required, now in the 21st century, the board actively also tends to play a part so that they can take the company. Now, that is what we have seen in COVID-19. 
many uh, companies, uh, many established companies have fallen prey to COVID-19. But those companies who have survived have had very active boards, who have been actively participating, actually uh, sometimes giving more time than full-time employees so that their organization or their company can survive through this crisis of COVID-19. Peter Drucker then also said, in reality, the board as conceived by the lawmakers is at best a tired fiction. It is perhaps not too much to say that it has become a shadow king. So, uh, again, uh, what we see just like the word shadow cabinet, uh, Peter Drucker uses the word shadow king, that basically the king is the chief executive officer and in the shadows, uh, basically, uh, we have the board of directors who are looking after the face of the organization, overseeing uh, what basically the chief executive officer is doing. So, uh, all of these things uh, basically are extremely important. And basically, these boards constitute back-end towards the organization so that uh, the chief executive officer and the chief officers of the organization know that uh, there is a responsible, strong, wise board at the back. And wherever required, uh, they basically uh, align themselves, calibrate themselves, bring them forward. Or otherwise, they stay back, they look at policies, they review them, they see how appraisal is being done, they see how selection is being done, and based upon that, they are contributing towards the betterment of the organization. They're looking at the long term. They're looking at profit planning to see where the organization will be in five years, 10 years, 20 years. And then also uh, basically culminating in the ethos of the organization and creating that value addition into the organization and making sure that the top management of the organization in its day-to-day -day affairs does not tend to slip somewhere. And they provide that support and thereby they create an effective mechanism of management and strategic management and leadership. And that is what all these board of directors should be doing. Thank you so much.